Good morning. This morning the Lord spoke to me and asked me to do certain things. Now, the Lord's uh, revival is coming. It's at the door, so to speak. And uh, the work of His glory, of His Son, is here right now for us to move in and to walk in. The benefits of his covenant are clearly shown us in Psalm 103, verse 1 to 5. And one of those benefits is divine healing for your body. Healing for your body and deliverance for your mind. This is an established fact and it is given to all those who believe in him. The Lord has got his lamb on this world with the kingdom of God here operating right now. The kingdom of God is alive on the earth now, unseen but not unmanifested. The revelation of the kingdom of God is given to those whose eyes are opened in the Lord. Now God wants us to uh, be sober about what we're called to do, and not psych ourselves up by psychological techniques and make ourselves believe something that God hasn't told us to do. The calling that God gave me was a calling right from birth, right from childhood, that I became aware of things. I became aware of the presence of God and I became aware of uh, His work in uh, my life. It was always something that uh, um, that was unusual for me. <coughs> it was always something that, that was unusual for me, and uh, I always needed to know that God was pleased with what I'm doing, what, what I was doing. Um, this is important because. God doesn't just appear to any old person and, and do any old thing. Um, it, it's not a free-for-all in the kingdom of God. God elects certain people to do certain things, like John the Baptist was to herald in Jesus. And uh, uh, Jesus himself gives us ministries to do for him a very real kingdom with very real ministries. And so we must understand that uh, the kingdom of God is given to us uh, to, to operate in and to take various offices and various roles. Uh, you know, the amount that you respect the kingdom of God and those who are appointed in the kingdom is the amount that you respect God. If you do not respect the ones whom he has sent, then you will not respect God himself. Whoever listens to us, listens to him. These are the words of Jesus himself when he said these things in his gospel. Whoever listens to those he sends, listens to him. And I was sent by the Lord, I mean commissioned by him, uh, 25 years ago plus, and uh, he, that I was called by God from childhood, and uh, I was prepared by God uh, from childhood for the work that he sent us to do. And all of us are prepared by God this way, but not all of us are called into various uh, apostolic missions and ministries. Okay? Now when God uh, commissions us, he empowers us, he also causes us to stir the devil up, and, uh, and a great uh, antithesis comes against us, a great uh, backlash of the dragon's tail, so to speak. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, the Lord knows who are his, and we have this secure foundation, and we are fixed in his uh, uh, church offices and kingdom offices. And so the amount that you respect those is the amount that you respect God. Um, in the West, we have been 
trained not to respect anybody. And so it's very difficult for believers in the West to have any respect for the word of the Lord came unto me saying, because they just don't respect anything. And uh, they don't respect their own fathers and mothers. They don't respect their own families. They don't respect the police force. They don't respect the authorities that God has placed, both natural and supernatural. And so they don't respect God. And there is no wisdom until, first of all, the fear of the Lord has been complied with. Now, simple people see these things, complicated people miss it by a mile, and uh, that's why I've always chosen to be with the humble people in this life and instead of the rich people, because rich people are complicated and rich people normally do not have the discipline to bring the, their bodies under control and their lives under the control of the Holy Spirit. These things can be seen by the simple, but are lost to the to the complicated and to the academic. We need to know what we've been given, and in that we rejoice. We rejoice. Now I'm going to heal your body in Jesus' name. I speak healing to you and to your body. I speak deliverance to your soul and to your mind. I speak life to you both here in this earth and eternally. And I speak the fire of God to those of you who are sent to do his will. Receive him, all of them. Receive the life that I give to you now in the name of Jesus. Just receive it. It was given to me to give to you. Now you receive it and be grateful and thankful for it. In Jesus' name, it's yours. Be healed. Get up. Do what you couldn't do before. As you do it, the strength will be given to you and you will be healed. Do what you couldn't do before. Believe now, beloved, believe in what I say and do what you couldn't do before. God will add the power. This is his solemn promise. God bless you.